Hi, everybody. It's Katie Whitledge with Beyond the Technique. And today we are talking about how we got an additional 50 new clients per month through our Meet Your Stylist tool. And I can't wait to share with you everything I can in our time together about Meet Your Stylist. I'm going to go ahead and get our screen share prepared for you. So just give me one second and we'll open this up. All right. How to get an additional 50 plus guests per month. Before I dive into the ins and outs of our talk today, I'll just share. For some of you who may not know, I'm Katie Whitledge. I am the creator and CEO of Beyond the Technique, Meet Your Stylist, and Be Inspired Salon. And I am actually out of Madison, Wisconsin. So if you hear a little bit of that Midwestern accent, this is why I am from the northern part of the central U.S. <laughs> and um, outside of running these beauty industry companies, which I just absolutely love doing, I am a busy wife and mother. These are my boys. This is Anson and Nash. And this is a little bit older of a picture, but I just love this picture. Nash in here, in this picture, he's six months. He's now one years old. So Life is moving at a very fast pace these days. Um, but I'm going to share with you our goals for today's class. There's four major goals we have together. One, how I realized we had a problem. We had a problem with getting and keeping clients in the door. And I don't know about some of you, but I started my salon on a shoestring budget and it was go time. None of my stylists that I took on when I opened, and I had two, so we were. I had two stylists when we opened, neither one of which had any clientele. And I'll share with you some of the problems I had. You know, one of my loves and passions with running a salon business and business in general is marketing. And in fact, for those of you who love the Beyond the Technique podcast, you know, it's kind of our thing. Our thing is providing and equipping salon owners and their teams with the most innovative marketing and business strat strategies. Okay, so number two, why I took the plunge to create me, your stylist, you know, platform for every salon owner. Why did I decide, you know what, in instead of just having this for my own salon, why I'm going to just take this plunge and, and help offer it to salons nationwide. Number three, how Meet Your Stylist has changed the marketing game. Some of you know Meet Your Stylist is an award-winning marketing tool. We were just featured in July and August 2018, Salon Today Magazine Tech Edition as one of the top tech marketing solutions for salons nationwide. And I just cannot wait to share this with you. And number four, we got a bonus here. We are going to give you a sneak peek on exactly how Meet Your Stylist works. So if some of you joining us today are a little nervous, if this is a sales pitch, I'm going to just tell you right now, of course, we are going to offer you the opportunity to buy Meet Your Stylist, to actually become one of our Meet Your Stylist salons. So I'm not going to push that on you. I'm just going to share up front that at the end of this, you will have an amazing opportunity to become a Meet Your Style Salon yourself. And that really is uh, the end game. You know, we want to build our tribe of like-minded salon owners. And I'll kind of get into who our salon owners are, and maybe you are like them and would love to be a part of what we have going on here. So let's dive right into how I realized we had a problem. Uh, but before we get into the problem, I want to kind of take a step back. Maybe you aren't aware of how tall the Empire State Building is. It's actually like 1250 feet high. Like it's crazy. 12,050. I don't even know. It's like so high. But before they could build up, they had to dig down and they have 50 feet down into the earth before they could build up. And, and this is where I want to take us today. I want to kind of backtrack and start at the very basics of the sales process, because no matter what business you're in, this is applicable to all of us. This is the sales process. The sales process is 
your prospects have to find out you even exist. I mean, they have to know about you. Then they have to decide, oh, well, I like them. Once they decide they like you, then they decide, can I trust them? Once you have their trust, then they will buy from you. So what Meet Your Styles really dives into is considering the who before the what. And this is the problem I didn't realize that I had. Most of my prospects are going to, just like yours, hear about you from their friends, so word of mouth, or they're going to go and Google hair salons and see you, hopefully, as one of the top options. They are going to potentially see a friend or a post on social media about your salon. Uh, what are some of the other ways? Maybe they hear about you on radio or they see an ad that you've placed maybe in a magazine. Regardless of how they hear about you or how they learn about you, that's the no part of the sales process, right? The no. Then they decide if they like you by well, how. I mean, this is where they go to your website. So I talk a lot about the 80-20 rule. Okay, so 80% of the time, people that learn about you are going to visit your website before they actually book an appointment. But of course, because they got to figure out, you know, do I call them? What's their phone number? So most people, even if they find you on Google and they could see your phone number right there, they are going to click through and preview your website. So problem number one, I have all this traffic coming to my website, but I have no way to really capture those leads. I have no way to engage with them on my website. It's one thing to write copy on your website that speaks to your target market, but it's quite another to get them to start engaging with you right through your website. So that was problem number one. Problem number two, most of the time, again, 80% of the people that visit your website are gonna call to make the appointment. You do have that 20% who are confident enough to book right online with you, but still today we have 80% that are going to call you. So here's the typical what part of it. This, we didn't put the who before the what, so this is the what. A new guest calls the salon and they say, hey, you know, my name is Deborah, and I'm looking to have a bob haircut. I haven't had any luck yet. I'm newer to the area and I'm wondering if there was a stylist you would recommend. Okay, even the best salons say, well, absolutely. And tell me a little bit about yourself, Deborah. Um, do you have naturally curly hair? You had mentioned that you hadn't found the right person. Are you looking for the first available appointment with us? Or are you looking to reserve a time with somebody with more experience? Okay, this is all phenomenal uh, verbiage used in, in a very sales strategic way. And, and I'm funneling the conversation down to booking an appointment. Okay, so I'm working on building this trust with Deborah. Deborah says, yeah, you know, I actually do have naturally curly hair and it's about chin length. It's super coarse. I struggle a lot with frizz. Now, typically your front desk team member will say, oh my gosh, you have to go see Rebecca. Okay, I'm going to book with Rebecca. Yes. So I have an appointment with Rebecca. I'm super excited. I come in because I've decided that I know, like, and I'm going to trust in you today to come in and buy from you. So I, Deborah comes in, she has her appointment with Rebecca. She has a good experience. Customer service was great. Rebecca did a really nice job. My haircut looked really good. However, I don't really click with Rebecca because everything we just did as a salon was based on what services Deborah wanted and what availability or expertise preference that she wanted <laughs> instead of, well, who are you? And, and really it's no fault to salons because nobody's really training people how to identify the buyer. This is something that I specialize in. It's called behavioral economics and I'll get to that. But it's like, how do you know who your buyer is truly? Because many people would rather settle and I say settle in a positive way. They'd rather go with, on a regular basis, long-term, be in a relationship with somebody who maybe wasn't the best technician they've ever seen. But wow, do they love each other. They connect. They get each other. They feel like, you're my people. 
it really goes beyond the technique. Ha, huh, funny, funny that comes up, right? Beyond the technique is so crucial for us to understand. So I love what Simon Sinek stands for. Oftentimes he's saying, look, People do business with those they believe value what they value, regardless of how phenomenal your customer service is, how on point your technical aspects of your stylist are. If the people aren't clicking, they won't come back again. Well, why? Let's go back. Because I just put my trust in you and bought from you, but I didn't click with Rebecca, the stylist. So now my behavior is that I'm going to go to a whole different salon. And I tell you what, if this didn't happen all the time, we would not have national retention rates less than 30%. Now, bear with me, some of you who have awesome retention rate, I'm talking about new client retention rates. Our national average of new clients that visit the salon only three out of 10 will ever come back again. Why? Because we're missing this link. We are not able to bridge this gap because we just don't really know. I mean, we're not, it's not that we're doing anything wrong. It's just that there is this crazy innovative piece to this puzzle that we don't have yet. And so this is where Meet Your Stylist comes in. But let me go back. So your guest, Deborah, she does not come back again. You call her and, and say, hi, you know, I just wanted to follow up to see how you enjoyed your experience with Rebecca. You know, it was really just a nice experience. You know, I didn't really click with her, but, um, or they won't tell you, right? Because most people won't really want to hurt anybody's feelings. So they just won't share. They'll just say, oh, I don't want to set up my next appointment right now. I'll have to think about it. Or I just don't know my schedule in three months. They'll ghost us. You know, those are the typical responses, but here's what it is. Deborah didn't click with Rebecca. She won't come back again because human nature is, I don't want to be rejected. And therefore, I don't want to reject others. We have this fear of coming back to that salon again. And God forbid that Rebecca sees us in somebody else's chair. Now she may think I don't like her. And even though it wasn't that I didn't like her, it was that I just didn't really click with her. We would rather avoid that pain point altogether. So what do we do? We do not go back to that salon again. And this is the problem I did not realize that I had once I did realize this, okay? Because here's the thing. We have an amazing... uh customer process, that experience from start to finish, we know we are on point with that. In fact, we're a top 200 salon in North America in the category of customer service. We know that we're bringing it. So why would people not come back again? And it wasn't until I really dove into behavioral economics, studying the psychology of people. It was like, wow, now I realize that the who has to come before the what. I get fired up about this, can you tell? All right, so we have four solutions. Meet Your Stylist provides all these things. I didn't really realize it when I first built it. I didn't get how powerful it was, but it turns out it's a lead generator. I put Meet Your Stylist on my salon's website and now I'm generating leads. This is amazing. I'm gonna now be able to market to these people whereas before I had no way of capturing visitors on my website. And who doesn't want to take a little survey that's all about themselves? Well, everybody, right? Or if we go to the 80-20 rule with this, 80% of people are going to take that survey because it's all about them. And I'm going to get into that survey in a minute and show you what Meet Your Styles is all about here in a minute. But the second thing that we didn't realize is like the client conversion. And this was just the biggest part. We now know that people totally make purchasing decisions off of their emotions. It's, yes, of course, can logic play a role? Yeah, well, if it did, our best technicians would be book solid, but look around at your salon. Sometimes it's not the best technical stylists that are doing the best on your team, is it? Okay, so we're converting clients 
from our website because they make an emotional connection with stylists on our team. The third thing, and really to me, one of the most important parts of it is increased retention. It's one thing to work your butt off to get new clients in the door, and it's quite another to keep them. And if we don't keep them, we're in this crazy hamster wheel, doing the same things over and over, working to get 200 clients a month new in the door. Look, at some point, you shouldn't need as many, or you need to up your your team or start your second location, right? If you're continuously getting 200 new clients in the door every month, at some point, all your stylists should be booked solid, every single one of them, to the point where you have to hire more stylists. Then you have a new problem, a really good new problem, or all the stylists at your current salon are slammed, time to raise the prices, time to consider a second location. You get the point. And finally, a guaranteed return on investment. So one of the things that I noticed once I had this tool for my own salon website is we're converting at a huge rate. Now that has kind of softened now that we've had it for however many years. I think it's now like five or six years that my own salon has used it. It went from like 70% conversion rate, but we're still bringing in on average 56 additional new clients per month because of Meet Your Stylist. We earned 286 thousand plus dollars additional revenue in 2017 straight up because of meet your stylist how do we track it well it's all built right into our system but okay on to look the point is it's out with the old and in with the new because sometimes simplicity is genius Oh, we make things so challenging sometimes, don't we? When really it's about connecting a human, we're human to human here in this industry. We're not just a hair salon. We're in the relationship business and Meet Your Styles bridges that gap, builds that relationship before the guest even walks in the door. So when I say out with the old and in with the new, what I mean is it's time to maybe relinquish some of those old school platforms for advertising. Maybe it's time to give up doing the, the discounts for everybody to get new people in. Maybe you're doing print and you're averaging, I don't know, eight to nine new clients per month from one ad. I can tell you right now, 80% of salon owners really aren't tracking their ROI. And this is where, again, our purchasing decisions are based on emotion. We continue to do ads with certain vendors or certain platforms because it feels good. It's comfortable and it would feel worse to tell them, I don't want to do business with you anymore. So we stay the course. But if you want to have a huge impact with a low cost acquisition cost, Meet Your Styles might be the right fit for you. And earlier I mentioned who is the right fit and I'll get to that first. We want to make the right match every single time. So one of our lost opportunities is we're kind of basing scheduling on the things that we can ask over the phone, like the best we can. And again, we're not doing bad at this. It's just that we don't know what we don't know. So meet your styles, make sure you make that right match every single time because we talked about it has the behavioral economics built into it. This comes down to making that emotional connection. Number two, personality profiling. We know how to identify people. This is what we study and this is what we do. So some of you have heard of the DISC personality profiling. This is a huge part of connecting the right people. Love languages is a thing. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but we show love one or two uh, out of five different ways. And, and therefore we want to be receiving love a, a couple out of the five ways. And all those ways are, are time, touch, positive affirmations, gifts, acts of service. So this really does impact your ability of relating to people, how you relate versus how people like to be related to. It's so interesting. Number four, lifestyle preferences. Are you, okay, and this is like kind of your salon vibe, right? This is kind of culture. Is my salon the kind of vibe and culture you dig? Okay, are we kind of boho and so are you? Are we kind of edgy? Um, 
and like urban style. And so are you, are we really sophisticated and chic? Are we uh, really glamorous and sparkly? Like every salon has their vibe that typically attracts a similar crowd of stylists. Therefore, we want to make sure everybody's lifestyle preferences really match with the unique lifestyle preferences of our stylists. And then finally, of course, there's basic logistics built in to meet your styles because we can't be booking a new match who wants, uh, let's just say, a, a men's barber haircut with a stylist that does just makeup, of course, right? So there has to be those basic logistics built in and make sure that we actually can book the services with the stylist uh, that can do those services. So there's so many different facets. You know, this is not a linear matching program. This is not, I want color. Oh, here are all the colorists. This is algorithms built to make sure that we make the right match every single time. And I'm not knocking any linear matching whatever out there, but it just goes back to the what. What do you want done and what's your beauty, beauty budget? And that's a whole different talking piece, my friends. I could get real into how price is a myth. People never buy based on price. Okay, you, we, you, we buy what we want, not what we necessarily need. And I would be willing to buy a $700 pair of, $700 pair of shoes if I saw how awesome they look on me and it made me feel a certain way. I'm going to buy them. Is it the smartest decision I've ever made? Maybe not, but it's not necessarily a bad decision. And there are people who would be like, oh, I'd never do that. But they would be the ones to buy, I don't know, a $4,000 laptop. And it's like, whoa, why do you need a laptop with all these capabilities? So the point is people value different things. Price is a myth. Beauty budget is, in my opinion, a myth. People buy what they want. Uh, and it's based on how they feel about about what they're buying. Okay. So I promise I'd share the results. Like how has this made an impact on our own salon? So what I love is data and I'm going to peruse through this because some people are really into it and most people are not, but just to share, this is all of 2017 and it shows you that every single month we track how many actual submissions came in. So people, whether they found our link on our website to take the survey or in a marketing email or potentially on social media, of course. These are how many per month people we had unique, right? New people who have never done it. This is how many people went and took our survey. Out of that, we show how many people actually converted. So I'll just show you December, we had 79 people take the submission. Surprisingly lower. Would to me, I think I'm surprised, but look at this conversion. I had 34 out of the almost 80 actually come in and do business with us. But look, if we pop over to additional converted clients, I had an additional 11 people who had taken the survey since the beginning of the year who had not been in yet, who finally came in in December. So we track a couple of things. We're tracking that month's conversion and then we track additional months. Here's an example. If somebody goes and takes your survey at you know, two days before the end of the month, they're probably booking into the next month or two. This is why we track both the monthly conversions and the additional conversions from months past. It's so important to look at all the data. So this is where we were doing that math and we figured out we average an additional 56 clients per month from our Meet Your Stylist tool, which had brought in an average of $286,000 plus dollars in revenue, which was amazing for us. We are a seven-figure business and our little salon just grew to our new location. In the background here is a picture of our beautiful shampoo room. The lights do dim in here for our guests, but we had a nice bright photo for um, our photography purposes. So anyway, back to the point on hand, meet your style salons. We went into this a little bit about who is our Meet Your Style Salon owner. They are forward thinking. When I share this information, which I get very excited about, it's innovative, it's the future of marketing, they are on the ride with me. They think ahead, they're futurists. They are very savvy marketers. They already have amazing marketing put into place. 
and they already have solid social media managers. They are like a well-oiled machine and many are top 200 salons. So I just love our tribe. I'd love for you to consider joining us. The next part is, is the most fun and here's your sneak peek to meet your stylist. So I'm going to downsize this and bring us to Be Inspired Salon. So this is our salon in Madison, Wisconsin. Who wouldn't want to go to that bourbon bacon beard trim event, right? That's a different marketing talk. But today I want to share with you just about Meet Your Style. So if I click on my Meet Your Stylist link, it takes you to our own Meet Your Stylist page. So if you become a Meet Your Style salon, you're going to see your logo up here. And I'm just going to show you a couple things. We talked about behavioral economics and knowing why people buy the way they do, understanding the buyer, and then giving the buyer what they want. And what they want is to take a survey that's all about themselves. Everybody will love to see an opportunity to find out which stylists at your salon are the best fit for them. And, and think about this language. We understand the struggle of finding a good hairstylist. That's how Meet Your Stylist was created, to match you with the stylist of your choice. People are curious by nature. It's about themselves. They're going to take it. But they, if we really wanted to think about how are we going to pack a punch, meaning how are we going to possibly get to the heart of people without it taking an hour and having like 50 plus questions? Well, we've done it. We've done it. It's short. It's sweet. It's to the point so that we can make a huge impact in a short amount of time. So most people when we observe, and I do demos all the time with salon owners, this survey takes everybody less than five minutes. Huge. And then we fill out our name and information at the bottom. We click our preferred method of contact and we agree to the terms of service, which is what I mentioned earlier. It allows you to now market to them. Some people are out of curiosity. They're going to take this right now but maybe they're not due for a haircut for a while, okay? But you want to be top of mind when they are ready to buy. So this is a long-term strategy. Now, boom, automatically I get my matches. I take the survey, I fill it out, and I'm going to get matched with my top three stylists. Okay, again, this is all so intentional, friends. There is a reason we give three. It's the same reason why... Remember our story with Deborah and Rebecca, how I'm on the phone and I'm saying to them, oh my gosh, you should see Rebecca. I'll give you the top person I knew would be a great fit based on what you want to done and what your availability demanded, okay? But now I broke the trust. Now if I rec recommend anybody else, I feel like it's the second pick. It's the desperate, hey, try, try to keep the client, offer them this and this and this to come in again. This is why we don't give their top match. This is why we give them their top three matches. And we could give maybe a top six, but we don't. We give three. Why? If we have more than three, behaviorally, the client becomes what we call, they have paralysis by analysis. If there's too many options, it's so much, I can't pick and I just won't pick anything. So we're very intentional about choosing our top three matches. What I love also is not only do you see them, so you have this power of choosing innately because we all judge on appearance. If we say that we don't, we're full of crap, but we all like to see who we're going to be with. We see them, we learn a little bit about them, and here's the power from a marketing perspective is I don't have time right now to book, but I could if I wanted to because I can book an appointment right here. So if your salon offers online booking, you can choose to have that opportunity as a call to action button on your match page. You can also connect your clients with your social media, your website, phone number, email. They can email. I mean, this is awesome. Now let's say I am busy. I don't have time to book right now. Well, it's a good thing that we are going to send you this in an email automatically. So what you see on the screen in front of you is also going to be in your uh, inbox. And if you can kind of see this screenshot, it is my Gmail account. So I'm actually looking at my top three matches again in an email. So not only do I see my results instantaneously, but I get that in an email. 
Okay, now the salon, the flip side, I take this survey, I'm like the Deborah here, I take the survey, and now the salon, front desk, notice the, um, oh, notice the email right here, front desk at beinspiredsalon.com. So instantaneously, my front desk gets this notification. They say, look, Katie, at meetyourstylist.com filled out your survey, and they've been matched with these stylists, and she's looking to get this done, and this is her hair type. So the point is, this is all automated, digital, super savvy, everything's intentional, and we couldn't be more thrilled to share it with you today. Okay, moving forward, I got to get through this. Other aspects of Meet Your Stylist are placement. So there's really four major things to do once you become a Meet Your Stylist salon. It's really just all about promoting your Meet Your Stylist link. So the first thing you want to do is place it on your website. So meet your stylist, you notice right here, this is Urban Betty Salon. They have this, find the perfect stylist for you. It's right on their homepage, right in the center banner of their homepage. Use our specialized form to generate the best match for your personality and style. Now, I don't have this prepared, but I have to show you. Let me pull this up so I can just introduce. Actually, you know what? I have it at the at the end of this. I have some testimonials from the owner of Urban Betty. So we'll come back to that. So this is the first place to really have meet your stylist live is on your salon's homepage. The second place is your team page. So if we all have those pages where we showcase the photos and bios or sometimes the photo and Instagram handles for all of your stylists, this is the place to do it. And I just love what Elon Hair Studio has done here. They have their awesome group picture and they're saying, look, find the perfect styles for you. They talk about their salon and they're giving the call to action. Click below to take meet your stylist. You know, really find out who the individual is that is the best fit for you. I just love that. Here's another example. This is the bottom. So that was the top of a team page. And then here's the bottom of a team page. So after we get all the way to the bottom, we see the last few team members here. We can't wait to meet you. And then I have this opportunity, meet your stylist, find the perfect stylist for you. And then I can click through. The words meet your stylist alone are a call to action. So right there, again, it's all so intentional to help really create that emotional bond between the prospect and your stylist and your brand. Other ways that you would definitely want to encourage people to take Meet Your Stylist are your marketing emails. And you would think, well, why would I put Meet Your Stylist in my marketing emails to the clients that already come to my salon? Well, what happens if you have a stylist leave or if somebody's on vacation, maternity leave? Well, this is why we provide this language for you. Have you ever found that your stylist isn't available at the time you were hoping? We understand. That's why we have our one-of-a-kind Meet Your Style survey. Try to see which stylists at our salon are, are also a great match for you. How smart is this? I love what Casa Verde Salon did when they started Meet Your Styles. They put this in all their drive-back campaigns. So here we're talking to Frank. Frank, we haven't seen you in a while at Casa Verde Salon Spa. We miss you. We would love to have you visit us again. Since your last visit, we've added a new amenity. Try our exclusive Meet Your Style survey to see your top three stylists at our salon that are the best fit for you. Schedule your next appointment today and let our talented professionals take care of you. And boom, right here, they have the opportunity to take Meet Your Stylist. So back to, we've done a little bit of a sneak peek here to show you how it lives on your website, how you go through and take the survey, and all the other ways you can market your tool, social media, just the verbiage in your salon over the phone. We have many salons who want to expedite the booking process or make sure if people are asking questions that they have a solution. If they're feeling like a lack of comfort with not knowing who to book with, this has been an awesome tool for all of those salons. So I had mentioned that Shelly is the owner of Urban Betty salon. And I, I just love her feedback. She says, meet your stylist gives clients a connection to our brand and our stylist. It really drives them to follow through with making an appointment with the stylist that they're matched with. Everyone is loving meet your stylist. I would say at a minimum, we have two people take our meet your stylist survey per hour. And we have 
Carrie Bennett, the owner of Atelier Salons in San Jose, California. She says, anything that helps a new guest feel more welcome and less like they are on a blind date is a plus. And isn't that true? It is like a blind date. We've had over 400 matches in just a few months. Awesome. We have Gina Cooper over here. This is Gina. And she is the owner of Spectrum Salon in Park City, Utah. And she said, in just a few months, we had 63 Meet Your Style survey matches and converted 38 new clients. That's a 60% conversion rate. Here's what it is. At the end of the day, we don't get a second chance to make a first impression. So what are we going to do with this information? Today's talk was, as you know, how to get an additional 50 plus clients per month. We talked about how I realized the problem I had. Do any of you listening maybe feel like, man, I kind of now realize this is an issue. I don't want it to be. Could be a right fit for you. Why I took the plunge to create my ear stylist. I, I really, and you know, I don't know if I kind of touched on this in full, but I knew what I had here was gold and I wanted to share it. I wanted it to be something that was valued similar to investing in what you would for radio ad or print, but a heck of a lot more affordable than radio or print. But yet it's at a different level or standard, meaning it's not $20, $30 per month. Sorry to break that news for you. But it's also not $400 or $1,200 a month, which is actually what I used to spend on both radio and uh, print ads. Meet Your Stylist is just under $200 a month. Okay. And what kind of impact could having eight or nine new clients per month, what, could, what, what kind of impact could that make for you? I often share that I guarantee a return on investment and I shared that even in one of the slides, I was like, look, we give it a guarantee. So let me show you how we are actually able to guarantee a return on your investment. We take your salon's average ticket. So I'm just going to use my information, but you will get out your calculator just like this and share your salon's information. So $80 is our average ticket. And then I multiply that by the number of times that a, a client's going to come in one year to our salon. So at our salon, an average guest will come six times per year. So we know that one guest is $480 per year. That's our average revenue from just one guest. That's from your balayage haircuts, you know, even down to like your facial waxes. We average it out. So we know this is the, the value of one guest per year. So, okay, I'm going to subtract just one month, 197 investment of Meet Your Styles from my revenue of 480 and it still leaves me with $283 up. So what's the point? The point is we can guarantee a return on the investment because if you only retain one new guest per month and you retain them, meaning they at least a year, you are going to be making money from this program. Now, obviously we hope and no, most of our salons are getting way more than just one new client that's retained per month. They're getting a heck of a lot more matches and the retention key is so key, but this is how we know. If you only actually retain one every month, you're still up $283. And then you would just multiply that by how many guess you retain in a year. And we have all these conversion tools and the built into the back end of your meet your sales account, just for the people out there that really do enjoy the data. But friends, the point is you're going to get an average of a 46%, a 46 return on your investment. And if any of you are really into doing advertising and tracking your ROI, that number is like unheard of. You don't get that with any other platform. And we know because we've done it all, I promise you we're not scared personally to invest in different platforms. We've tried it all and we know that it is huge or huge return. Okay, finally, if you're looking for more information, please visit meetyourstylist.com. I'm just gonna pull this website up so that you can see. 
Many of you are really into trying this. I would love for you to get on board. You have to at least have five stylists on your team. If you want your own personalized demo, you can fill this out and send it over to us and we will connect with you. But if you're like, you know what? I want to try this. I have at least five stylists on my team. We'll give you your first month complimentary. That'll help you ramp up all your stylists and get them in. So you would either click here or click right up here at the sign up button. It'll take you through the sign up process of joining us and becoming a Meet Your Stylist Salon. Finally, if any of you are really into Salon Today, which we love, we had mentioned that they chose us for uh, their technology tech trends. I'm just going to pull this article up for you. Um, actually, let me just make it a little bit easier and actually put in Meet Your Stylist here for you. And they call it a clever tool for driving new prospects to your salon. So I'm going to click on this link. If any of you would like to just dive further into their perspective on why Meet Your Stylist is this innovative matching tool that your salon could be a part of, here is the article that they've graciously written about us. I'm so thankful that for this recognition because we're not in bed with a huge corp, you guys. We are our own boutique software company and we're not up in line with any one POS system. We're not a part of any of those, but the good news is we can play in the sandbox with them. We just don't align ourselves with one in particular. So we're, we're a lot like you in regard to, we don't have like corporate backing, this is going to be a whole different experience for you from start to finish what, when you sign up and when you go through um, just the onboarding and, and implementing your Meet Your Stylist tool. So I'm going to come back to this screen here. One second, stop share. And here we are. I've enjoyed our time together. I hope that this was exciting for you. You know, my main message is to share how do we get 50 additional new clients per month? And it comes down to meet your stylist. So even though this could be a little salesy, forgive me, I get very passionate about talking to people about this tool. Of course, I want you to come on board and invest with us and become a meet your stylist salon. But really the power is in the network because we share as meet your stylist salon owners, we share with each other the powerful ways that we are promoting our meet your stylist tool and we can all learn from each other. So I want to end our little session here with one example. Let me go back to uh, share screen. And I'm going to pull this guy up. I'm going to move this out of the way. And this was an Instagram story that Salon B out of Dartmouth, Massachusetts created. And I just love it. Isn't that just perfect? It does only take a minute to fall in love with the right stylist. So we're back hopefully here together. Let me just pull this up. And I just want to say thank you so much for being here with me today. And if you have any questions, please reach out info at meetyourstylist.com. Otherwise, I'll look forward to connecting with you in the future through the podcast. Or if you reach out to have your own demo of Meet Your Stylist Go to meetyourstylist.com. Bye, everybody.